Hello. You do not disturb me, traveler. I heard your arrival from a distance, and I saw it in the stars. You were quiet and respectful towards the creatures of the forest, and I feel in your aura a force of good. Come closer. Me? I was dancing. The forest is so beautiful at dusk. The trees seem menacing for some, crushing for others. But I feel as if their shadows lean towards me to enjoy my singing. I am sure they appreciate it. Understand the words. Did you like it? <laughs> I'm glad you do. Yet this song is a miserable one. It tells the tale of an elven king who lived in this region long ago. He was loved by his people in one of the most brilliant minds the world has come to see. The song is a lament for him, for the elf who so bravely fought the forces of evil, but was killed in doing so. Who are you? It is usual for me to come here, to sing to the trees and listen to the birds. It's peaceful and it makes me forget about the war. But I've never seen you here before. Are you one of the elves from the east? The one who lives near the mountain of Minyana? I thought so. By your accent and your clothing. What is your name? Falmaras. So you are the child of the King of Telegranthir. It is an honor to meet you. I have heard great things from your lands. 
I have never traveled this far in the east, but my family has been told tales of wonders about your culture. Me? Hmm. I have heard many names. Elemire being my favorite one. But some others called me Iselmi. Yes, indeed. It means moonlight. Mm. <laughs> you are a poet. Thank you for your kind words. Although I cannot be as beautiful as the real moonlight. Look, there it is in the sky. I think I will sleep here tonight. The leaves will make a comfortable bed and the trees will keep me company. Tell me, Falmaras, because I cannot stay silent when I see your injuries. What has happened to your hand? So just like I did, you have suffered in the hands of evil. You can stay here for a little while if you'd like. The forest will help you rest. Even with my songs and the melody of the winds in the trees, I still see suffering in your eyes. Falmaras, I feel it in your mind. Is the shadow of the wall troubling you as it troubles me? I understand, more than you know. My father and my two sisters left this region to go north. It's been ten years now, and I know they face many battles that will determine the next era of our world. So it is your direction as well. Are you alone in your quest? None of the other elves followed you. Hmm, their path is hidden from me. Forgive me then. I didn't know my singing distracted you from your path. You should go back to your friends. I will guide your footsteps. I wish in all my heart that I could follow you. I wanted to follow my sisters and my father, but it is forbidden of me. I cannot leave and go north. It is a long story. But I suppose I can tell you, as the night is coming, 
I would never tell this tale at dawn because I would be afraid that it scares the sun. But I do not want to burden you with this. Very well. I will keep it short, then. When I was a baby, I was kidnapped by the evil we are now surrounded by. My mother fought bravely, but she died trying to protect me. I was raised for years in a dark fortress, but I could feel a light inside of me that I did not want to give up. And finally, my kin rescued me, and I could see the light again. But I was cursed already, and no matter how hard I tried, I could never take revenge on this evil I was raised with. A spell was cast on me, and going into battle now would be too dangerous for my own kind, because I would fight them to protect the evil. So I stay here, in this forest, and in my hometown, and I wait for my people to come back, hoping they will succeed. You are confused. Forgive me. It was not my intention to trouble you. My life is my own and I'm the only one bound to it. But if you want to help me, then fight this evil. Destroy it with your brothers and sisters and make sure it is gone forever. Do not trust it and do not despair when hardship finds you. For you have a kind soul and peace will always be with you. And I will know when I am no longer under this spell that you have succeeded. Now, let me see your hand. Elisina Gamba Thare Mori Quendi Ochtai Mera This will ease the pain. All I can do now is offer you my benediction. Since I cannot follow you, I will accompany you in your dreams for as long as I can, when you need it. Fall asleep for a few hours and you will wake up with the strength of ten elves. Your company is calling for you. You must go now. I was glad to meet you, the heir of Telegram there. What is on your mind? Hmm. I couldn't read the stars on this matter. I do not know 
if we will meet again. But you were the brightest encounter I have had in a very long time. No, Thalmaras, that you will not disappoint your people. 